Museums this way, admissions free. Have a great time. What have we done? <laughs> oh no, it's so bad. And then we have mold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is disgusting by the way. You know what? Oh, also people I have been round to see the museum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill someone. <laughs> Hello MTV and welcome to my student crib. If you're new here then hi, hey, hello, my name is Jack Edwards and this is my university house. I currently live with three other people, although having said that, by the end of this video I may be homeless, so good. Basically the pretext to this video is that my housemate Ella was invited very last minute on a free trip to Paris. Someone else dropped out, it was all prepaid for, so they basically changed the names on the flights and she has gone, she's been in Paris for the last three or four days and I am jealous. So, you know, I thought while she's perusing all of these amazing museums and galleries and exhibitions, I would like to go to one too. But why leave the safety and confines of your own home when you can make an exhibit here? So, <laughs> I'm going to make her bedroom into a museum. Honestly, I think this might be one of the stupidest things I've ever done. So I think we should go and see what we're working with. Okay, so here we go. This is Ella's room, or should I say, my museum. Of course, the first thing worth noting is the huge tapestry on the wall. This is the relic of the gap year and uh, is really the piece de resistance in this room, I think. We have her desk, her shelves, um, and then I think this is leftover ice cream and this is so grim. It's a teacup with mold in it, so um, that's definitely going to be part of the exhibition, I think. As I said earlier, this was a very last minute thing, and so there's no judgement here um, for the fact that there is like a little bit of mess, like she had to pack up this room very quickly and wasn't aware that she would be going away for the weekend, so no judgement here. Especially not from me, because my room is a tip all the time. We have an assortment of rogue headwear from various socials. Ella's on the volleyball team here at Durham, so um, goes on a lot of like weirdly themed nights out. Um, then we also have a picture of me when I made us buy matching t-shirts because <laughs> I am the ultimate tourist. Maybe we should sell t-shirts in this museum. No, we don't have time, we don't have time. We have some used mugs and glasses, um, a staple of any student bedroom, a ukulele, and then a personal favourite, Donald Trump toilet paper. Here we have the fertiliser used for keeping a bonsai tree alive. Where's the bonsai tree, you ask? Well, it died, much like these very sad and sorry looking succulents. Yeah, they've definitely seen better days. This poster reads, Knee Deep in Clute. Clute is um, a nightclub here in Durham at my university, um, and it's the worst nightclub in Europe, so um, that's good. Here we have a very inspirational poster of um, the phases of the moon, labelled the moon, just in case you uh, weren't sure what this huge rock is. And um, yeah, I think that's what we've got to work with, so, um, I'm going to grab my laptop and start making some labels so that, um, you know, the, the visitors of our museum know what they're looking at. Okay, so I just ran upstairs to grab my laptop and while I was doing that, Ella actually texted me. It's kind of like she knows, weirdly, and it kind of made me feel a little bit guilty about messing with her and then um, I opened the text and it's a picture of them drinking wine on the streets of Paris and instantly, I feel no guilt at all. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to sit here with my laptop, have a look around the room and make some labels for things. So I've just been looking around the room and writing little placards for each of the items that I could find. I've got quite a few so far. Hello, so I've finished up the um, labels. I'm here with Paddy, he's come to assist. There it is. So Paddy's cutting and I'm sticking. Um, so let's film a little time lapse. We love a little time lapse. Day. That's the last one. I literally have so much work that I should be doing right now and this is a new extreme in my attempts to procrastinate. <laughs> okay, so um, all of the placards are up around the room and I will take you for the grand tour in a moment, but first I need to make a sign welcoming people to my museum, which I'm going to call Musée d'Ella in the spirit of uh, Paris museums. Cool, Musée de Ella, admission free. Lovely. So, welcome to the Musée de Ella, admission free. Let's go in. Firstly, we have the door handle. Can you handle it? We have a tapestry, a relic of the gap yard, displayed in order to let all visitors know that the specimen had found themselves. A throw. Confusingly, this item was not used for throwing 
but to keep the specimen warm. Pen with hair tie. A hair tie wrapped around a pen suggests that this writing utensil was worn as a kind of headdress. A poster. Presumably the chance of a pagan cult, this poster suggests heathenistic tendencies in the specimen, although it is unclear exactly what substance she was wading in. Knee deep. Here we have a sculpture. This piece of abstract art is said to represent the eternal struggle and monotony of life. Just as the clothes have been worn, then washed, and folded, one must wear them again, thus repeating the process in a cyclical motion. We have the back of the wardrobe, used to get to Narnia. So I labelled this item as unknown, because I literally had no idea what this was, and then Paddy told me it's, um, it's a light. So I guess you could say I've been... Enlightened. This selection of plugs and chargers is located in close proximity to the framework used for sleeping, suggesting that the specimen would plug themselves in at night. Personally, I think we should pull the plug on this whole thing. Here we have a teacup. Known to be a treasured Valentine's Day gift, this vessel was used for drinking warm beverages such as tea and coffee. And then we have... Mold. The mold inside this vessel suggests the tea was brewed in the 17th century, and perhaps used as some sort of scientific experiment. Similarly, we have the bowl. Another scientific experiment with the bowl used in the absence of a Petri dish. Then we have a truly impressive number of tissues. Weird flex, but okay. I didn't even give this a label because I just have no idea what this is. A plethora of mugs have been neglected on this shelf, potentially used to disguise the specimen's drinking habits, in which Foster's beer, see here, was poured into the vessel and disguised as tea. The specimen seems to have been plotting something against mankind, whom she had written greeting cards against rather than to as was the custom. Though the presumed usage of this powder was to fertilise a bonsai tree, the absence of any such perennial plant suggests that this was instead used for human consumption. We have a plethora of textbooks which suggest that the specimen was incredibly hardworking and read widely around the subject she studied at university. Uh, and then we also have dust. The dust atop these textbooks suggests they were never actually opened. I'd uh, sip the tea but it's got mould in it. Up here, amongst all of Ella's photos, we have one of her and her boyfriend, which I have censored due to explicit content. Coins. Small metal discs used in the system of capitalism. Here we have a collection of potions in various sizes and consistencies which may have been used for practicing witchcraft, or added as an ingredient to the various scientific experiments as seen around the room. What is this stuff? Here lie the deserted carcasses of three dead succulents who were neglected despite good intentions. A note. This note reads, water the plants, and was clearly ignored. Moving on to the notice board. Firstly, we have a name tag. Um, the specimen's name is emblazoned on the wall, perhaps in case she forgot it. Another name tag implies the specimen was involved in some sort of identity crisis in which she constantly sought reminders to her true moniker. Here we have a shrine. A shrine to the YouTuber Jack Edwards. Tickets. Each of these tickets displays a different date, each of which has passed, suggesting that the subject had neglected to attend any of the events which they advertised. A chandelier. Sia is quaking. An abundance of dried foods suggests that the specimen was preparing for an apocalypse. A copious number of copies of the same magazine suggests short-term memory loss. A bizarre assortment of headgear suggests that the subject was either a member of a cult or experiencing an identity crisis in which she occasionally saw herself as Jojo Siwa? Here we have um, some toilet paper. Researchers are yet to fully understand why this was kept in the room, as it had clearly been used since it's covered in shit. Here we have drawers. Now these drawers were not, as one might assume, filled with drawings in the traditional sense, but instead with makeup, used to draw the face. A selection of hooks. We hope you are hooked on what this museum has to offer. A basket. The specimen appeared to be collecting various wrappers and receipts, perhaps for later inspection. A bag containing literally just a sandwich. I have no explanation for this. And so there you have it, that is the Musée de Ella. I have nothing else to give. I've just got to wait until she comes home now. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey guys, come on in. <laughs> Museums this way, admissions free. Enjoy. Thanks guys. Yeah, have a great time. <laughs> hello, some time has passed. It is now gone midnight, um, and I think Ella's train has just arrived, and I'm a bit nervous, you know, I think she might kill me. Um, not so much for, like, the act of putting things in her room, but more for the act of, like, putting it on the internet. Ella, if you're watching this, um, sorry. You've been pranked by the prank patrol. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh Hello! God, so, <laughs> <laughs> so mean! <laughs> sorry. I was like, something's going on here. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. What have you done? So, I thought, since you're in Paris, seeing you all these- me. <laughs> You've been punked! Since you're in Paris, seeing all these amazing museums, I thought I would turn your room into a museum. You did it. 
<laughs> you have it. Oh, yeah, but it's God. nice. I'm gonna fucking kill someone. <laughs> it's the music to Ella. What done? <laughs> oh no, it's so bad. <laughs> It's lovely! <laughs> I feel like that's not the best one to read first. Oh no! I just. This is a good one. <laughs> I just oh labelled all of your stuff, it's basically. So bad. It was so <laughs> <laughs> no! Are, some of them are alive. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that mold is bad, mate. That is fucking disgusting. Oh my god, that is so bad. I left my room in such a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, ah, God, I missed it. I'm I was so, so dead. We hope you don't find some of them. God, you're so deep. <laughs> it's existential. It's horrible. <laughs> Dried food to just dispense with her preg for <laughs> You have an obscene amount of dried snacks. Uh, mm. I'm like, what does she know that we don't? <laughs> it's her Brexit plan. <laughs> oh my God. What do you think? So mean <laughs> and so typical. Oh, the tapestry. Oh no. I'm gonna find these for weeks. Yeah. A shrine of the YouTuber Jack Edwards. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, they're getting burnt. That's it. Where were you? Did you guys have dinner with that? Yeah, this is disgusting, by the way. You know what? I <laughs> oh no. Oh, also, people I have been I round to see the museum. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how to feel about this. I really don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> Welcome home, mate. <laughs> <You're so laughs> it's funny. It's funny. It's also depressing. <laughs> oh no. You just look like a broken woman. I'm a broken woman. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, like three trips away are really, really hard, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, Why is it free as mission as well? I didn't think it was worth that much. Come on. Thanks for having us. Yeah. I'll leave a good review. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Ella. And there you have the Musée de Ella. Um, this was me turning my housemate's bedroom into a museum. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly had a great day not doing work and doing that instead. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. This was very different for my channel, but I really enjoyed doing it. So subscribe for more from me. Um, maybe I'll do another one soon. I've been Jack Edwards. Have a lovely day and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.